You like my cat ears? I colored my hair as well. And I'm in my fluffy t-shirt. My favorite comedian and my makeup. I love it. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for this video because this is my project pan collab with Amanda. We have been talking so for so long to do a collab together but I didn't really feel like it because I had so much going on. Why not to just do it? This is Project McFly. So if you have seen Back to the Future, the movie, you would not kind of know the theme of this project. If you haven't seen that movie, Shame on you. It's a very, very awesome movie. This is a project that runs from September 21st until December 21st. So we have three months to do this in and we have created three categories. The first category is products that remind us of the 1950s and then the 1980s and then the future. So I have chosen six products. I believe she has also. Let's just go through them and I will explain why I chose them. Some of them is quite self-explanatory. So the first product is a red lipstick and I have chosen this. Oh, it is more orange red. And this is a lipstick from Oriflame that I'm trying to use up this year. So I thought it would be perfect to put in this product because Marilyn Monroe is from the 1950s and she wears a red lipstick. So I have chosen that one. And I will show you a close-up for the mark. The second product for the 1950s is a black eyeliner. This is just this is a gel eyeliner, but I thought it is one of my oldest eyeliners in my collection, and I really want to use it. I'm not going to use this up. That is just impossible. But I will really want to hit pan or something, or just get very good use out of it. And again, Marilyn Monroe, she wears a winged eyeliner, so that is why I chose this. I'm not sure if I can do a winged eyeliner with this one, but <laughs> I will try, <laughs> maybe fail, but I will at least get some use out of this eyeliner. So for the 1950s, the first product I chose is my Benefit Erase Paste, and the color speaks for itself. I have some good use out of it, but I have bought this in like... 2014 so it really needs to go i don't use it as a concealer every day i use it for a corrector because it, it is too peachy for me under my eyes alone so i really need to pair it with a concealer every single time i use it but i really want to get some use out of it and i thought it would be perfect for the color and this product the second product from my 1980s is a highlighter from the bon bon jovi rockstar palette and it is the highlighter as i said it is called Disco Disco Solid Gold and Disco Disco 1980s self-explanatory. I don't know how much I can use of this highlighter but I will at least try and just get some use out of it in general. For the future, that was very very hard. I didn't really know what to put in but the first one is my Benefit What's Up highlighter and I thought to myself there is light bulbs, light bulbs? how to pronounce that on this and it is metallic and I thought that is kind of future futuristic <laughs> and yeah I have marked this as well on a paper so I will show you that here on the screen I don't have that much left and I'm really really certain I can go through that in the three months I'm excited to get use of this again because I had it in my hair product practice band if you didn't watch that and then I have a single eyeshadow from P2. It is the future is mine eternal star mono eyeshadow. Okay, firstly, the packaging. Amazing. Very future kind of. And the future is in the name itself. So why not? And this is called Virtually Bronze Again. Future. So this is just a very, very pretty copper rose gold kind of shade. And I really, really like this. And I'm pretty sure I can uh, hit pan on this. I'm not going to finish it because I know myself. But I will really want to get some use out of it because, yeah, why not? And it's pretty. And it's perfect for this project. That is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you are excited to follow my progress. I'm so excited to hear what Amanda put in this project. 
We have been planning this for quite a while and yeah, now it's time to do this project and I'm so excited to be doing this with her and yeah, I hope you will follow along and subscribe to my channel down below so you don't miss the update next month. And follow my social media here on the screen, like the video, and then I hope you're doing great until my next video. Bye guys!